Pickleball, volleyball, basketball, even a public lagoon for water sports. All of that could now be coming to Largo as part of a huge new sports complex. And tonight, city leaders there are going to figure out whether to give voters the choice to sell the city-owned land to the developer. ABC Action News reporter Chad Mills learned that some neighbors are going to be at City Hall tonight to actually push back on this, Chad. That's right, James, because that group of neighbors doesn't want a sports complex near their homes. It doesn't want the idea on the November ballot either. $75 million in just five years. That's the economic impact developers say this sports complex would bring the city of Largo. Of course, you've got an 87 acre property right now that's not on the tax rolls, underutilized, environmentally comp uh, compromised, and you're going to turn that into this amazing development that's going to provide active space, recreation space. Using the vacant site of an old city landfill off East Bay Drive, Porter Development hopes to build 40 pickleball courts, 16 volleyball courts, a public beach-like lagoon, and a lot more. My immediate reaction was, absolutely not, this cannot happen. I don't want this in my backyard. Megan Jetter and some of her neighbors are already fighting back. They're concerned about environmental impact and noise from the sports complex. They're also concerned about the traffic it'll create on already busy roads. The biggest concerns would clearly be East Bay, which is a parking lot. Almerton is a parking lot. It's why she and others plan to be at City Hall Tuesday night as commissioners decide whether to add a referendum to the November ballot, which would ask voters if they're okay with selling the city owned land. We believe that this is an opportunity where democracy works, facts matter. The development team has said it's already working with neighbors to address their concerns and will build a project that doesn't disrupt surrounding communities with traffic, but we will continue to speak out. Neighbors like Jetter doubt that and will keep fighting back. That city commission tonight begins at six o'clock. We're live in Largo, Chad Mills, ABC Action News.